Good evening and welcome back to the crust where I'm going to get rid of all our solar panels. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Clicky, click, clicky, clicky, click, click, clicky, 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 click, 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 click. Um, when removing things, be very careful to make sure you remove the stuff you actually want because there's no way to cancel the remove thing. Just, just no, once, it, once you stop removing it, it's gone. It's gone. However, however, we have unlocked salvage. Awesome. Uh, we have a projector as well. I'm not quite. I've never used a projector, so I don't know what it's for. But yeah, we've unlocked salvage. Salvage means that with the remove tool, we can salvage things like this. So we can pick up the resources like a little bit of steel. Doop, 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 like that. Uh, and steel and more steel. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't remove all these because these are. Uh... Feeling sneaky, don't you? Feeling sneaky, don't you? <laughs> that's not ours, so we can't do that. Uh, I think that's just because you can't actually get up here to build this technically, so that's going to be there forever, so that's fine. Uh, but we can remove all of these things here, um, and our drones will come along and remove all things here. So if I hold shift and click, and then just kind of drag the mouse over things. Dooby 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 like that and those two there as well but on there you go so we're going to salvage all those things there some of these have components which is nice some of them do not that's fine so yeah we can salvage all these things and get everything going which is awesome however uh, i do want to uh, build bigger and better solar panels that's the point oh <laughs> push the wrong button there uh we want utilities no not utilities what is it power that one <laughs> what does it we want i don't know I don't know anymore. Um, and we want to build a lot of these. Um, so I'm going to leave a gap and then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, I want to build like 10 along here. Uh, I don't know what order they remove things in, but it looks like it might be closest to the elevator um, because they've chosen to remove the stuff that I really wanted them to remove first anyway, because they're the bits with components in. So. That's cool. I don't know why they've done that, but I'm happy they did. Um, so yeah, this is going to be our solar and battery field up here. And that's the plan. That's the plan. So let's connect all of these together along here. Oop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a power line in, uh, I think, like this, um, and we'll connect you to that one. In fact, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put a power line at the end of each and every line. Um, and connect you to that, and then run the line between, oh, oh that's not what I wanted to do line in between them because that will allow us to uh, they only connect to two so i can't run the line up at this exact that way if we connect power to the end of them it's a lot of power lines i know but it gives us opportunity to build things on the end of it and it just gives us better opportunities to do stuff i feel looks better now it does look as if they're going to salvage things before they build things which is not ideal however we do have a priority system here so let's um up the priority of all of these and get them building those first hopefully okay uh so uh what does this need this needs titanium which we don't have now i'm hoping as we destroy things here we'll find some titanium somewhere yeah titanium in these guys so we might find some more titanium buildings we could also buy some titanium in and we've got this system here for that but let's just take we need more power so I need to remove these things and I need to build uh, better things like that. That's why I'd like to get the large batteries, but we can't do that. We're way off that for the moment. So yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. More importantly, we want to, uh, yeah, we want to get things out. So build those side panels before the day comes along. And then research these things, re uh, salvage these things here. And build that. Uh, which would be nice. Yep, and then you don't have any power because, yeah, power's, power's bad. Power bad. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's also remove these three guys because they're not needed down there. 
They're nice as lampposts, you know, to show things, but we, we don't need a grid of power like that. That's fine. Um, we are still wasting so many resources. I should really um, uh, build a smart concrete factory, which requires ah, quite slag and silicon oxide, not silicon. So it would require a tap off from this guy here. Now, we can turn this back on again and have them pick up silicon. Um, so I think we're going to do that. I think we'll do that. So I'm going to change this guy. Uh, change your resource type to be slack. Oop. That will dump everything on the floor. Okay. Uh, I'm then going to uh, destroy the bit and destroy that. I might regret doing that. We've got 28 smart concrete. Production smart concrete. Uh, so this is one of the ones where we can flip it. We can we proceed to flip the wind around. Uh, you see it changes the input. So if we did that and put it there instead. Um, it's still miles away from that, but that's okay. For the moment, we'll just do this. Oop, like that. Oh, no. You're going to get slag, so that'll be fine. Oh, confirm cargo unload. Awesome. Would you dump that uh, just here, please? That's our rover from the previous mission. Uh, we should be bringing in loads of components and things, which would be nice. Okay, this is going to supercharge these cells. We, 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 were all, we were already charging them fine anyway. But this will supercharge them, and uh, that'll be cool, because we'll be able to get more things going. So, Okay, uh, you require repair. That's okay, you will get that. We've got silicon. We have a little bit of silicon, not a great deal. Views most fits with things. Oh, now that we have an ice medicine machine, we need to learn about auction facilities correctly. That's fine. Our operation requires a colossal amount of funds. The budget is stretched to its limits, and there are no new investments in sight. We need to come up with something urgently. Uh, Glacial metal. To ensure the colonists feel safe indoors, one electrolysis plant is not enough. It provides oxygen, but we need a backup plant. Call me a pessimist, but I've heard enough stories about sudden water and power ashes leading to deaths in entire base of crew. Make sure this doesn't happen to us. Construct a compressed tank, an auction rare, and I have, have it ready. Oh. We can establish trade with other organizations on the moon. This way, surplus resources are converted into money, which we currently lack. To send resources, we need a landing platform. And to access the market, we need to research the online market. We've done that already. Are you gonna Okay. Um I think two things are happening at once. <laughs> uh keep in mind the additional rooms of facilities will become uninhabited until we can get into the sports of auction. For this uh, each room needs ventilation. This will not an oxygen between the rooms, but also heat. This is why you get paid the big bucks, Ledger. Great idea. Director, let's get <laughs> started immediately. Research and construction will take some time. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're yeah, two things are happening at once there. So uh, Ratchet's talking to us about uh, things and they're talking about money. Um, okay, pause Director, for a moment. We now have living quarters. It's time to make <laughs> them habitable. Build beds, a farm, and a kitchen. The new residents will need them. Everything is ready for trading. <laughs> to sell your surplus resources, go to the online market section of the control center. Hydroponic farms will allow food to be produced as long as there is access to water. A kitchen will allow colonists to cook and eat. As for the purpose of beds, I bet you can figure that one out on your own. No, no, Alice, please explain. Okay, uh, so we want to have a... Wow, that sounded really dodgy, didn't it? That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Um... <laughs> um, let's put in a tank there and a tank there. So we have oxygen and water stored in them. Okay. Um, so yeah, two things are happening at once. So Ledger was talking about the market and everyone else was talking about building this here because I, I triggered two things at once, so yeah. Um, oh, we also need to put beds and a kitchen. Um, okay, so life support, kitchen. We'll put kitchen in there. Beds we'll put up here. Uh, so um, one, two, three, and four. Okay. Hopefully we get this done in time. This needs to be built priority. Now we need titanium plates of which we have 19. So we're okay. Make sure this is a priority. We need that built because that's our only source of smart concrete and we're running out.
Did I mention I love the music of this game? It's really, really good. Really, really good. Sure, Fat Tree, let's do that. There you go, right, okay, oh, that is power, yep, let's get the pad grid. Oh, there we go. Um, so that will take slag and it will take silicon oxide and it will do that. So we uh, don't have slag input, we do have silicon oxide input. Uh, you are allowed to export the silicon oxide so the drones can do that. Um, which would be awesome for us. Uh, okay. You are producing... Oxygen, uh, water, 60 water. Water's not been stored anywhere. You are using 10 of it, so a lot of the water's being wasted at the moment because we have no storage for it. So we want to get storage going for that. So yeah. Uh, Braver, um, would you go and uh, go over to the here? That's a call for help. We'll leave that for a minute. Slag output. Do you uh, do you have yep, slag input? The drone's just busy at the moment. That's fine. That's fine. So you're producing that. So uh the titanium is coming in here, so we get titanium. Um however this is struggling. Um yeah, because the silicon titanium here is forty three percent. So it's producing enough, but we're only getting 8.5 a minute out of it, and this wants 9 a minute. So it's slightly struggling for the resources, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we can we can do better than that. Once we get the upgrades for these things, we can upgrade them and make them faster and stuff. Should really get to doing the multi regular thing. That's not going to happen at the moment. We will figure this all out later. Um, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, you want slag? That's fine. Uh, so uh, well, the water tank is full already. Awesome. The auction tank will get full very soon. This requires uh, smart concrete, which we don't have. You are starting to work now with smart concrete. Excellent. Uh, we could build another tank here and do stuff like that, but our drone, our drones are. The drone priority system is interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Um, we have a cargo truck on the map doing nothing. I don't know where they're going to land, so I have no idea where uh, the truck. So I'm going to leave the cargo truck as we are. Now select market at the top of the screen. You can not only sell missing resources, but also buy them. Since we are currently trying to restore our budget, if you select an available resource on the left side of the screen, you'll see the fluctuations and its cost on the right side. To send a resource for sale, select the appropriate option in the bottom right corner of the screen. Yep. Yep. I, I, so I am um, uh, obviously... Um, uh, did this that well? That came right down in price. We want this to be forty before we sell it. So, um, yeah. Director, you should carefully monitor supply and demand. The more resources of a specific type you put on the market, the lower their price will be. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to wait for the market to be high and then sell a big lump in one go at that price, and then the next day it will tank, absolutely tank. So you have to do that. Um, you can increase. I believe the sell price by buying stuff in um, it affects the buy and sell price, but the sell price is always lower than the buy price. Um, so you couldn't buy stuff in and then wait a few days and sell it because you got it, the, the sell price doesn't increase that quickly compared to it. So, um, is I believe that's how it works. I'm not. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the first machine um, that, as you can see, requires colonists. Now, it doesn't require colonists to work. It's working without them. But it's working at 15% efficiency. Now, what that means, this takes 12 steel, 9 titanium, and produces three components in one minute, which means that it takes 20 seconds to produce one. Now, we always know this, this loop is just one cycle, so this is 20 seconds. But because it's running at 15% speed, uh, and not 100% speed, it's going much slower than 20%. So if it was 15 uh, 50 percent it'd be taking 40 seconds to do it um so it gets so yeah i i don't know the exact math thing, but basically um 20 seconds um 
times 15 percent I, I don't i don't know how to figure that out that exact number out so um yeah so um but that's it, it's taken a lot longer that's what i'm trying to say i did know somebody did explain in one of the streams um the exact how you figure out the exact numbers here and it's gone from my head um, and uh yeah i'm not the most fantastic things you know all, all the risks i take are fantastically calculated but man i am bad at maths so yeah um <laughs> So this is working here. You do not have any organics. You do not have any power because our power is screwed. That's true. Um, you require fundamentals. We're wasting engineering science and that science. So let's get the conveyor belt mark two and the underground conveyor belt. That'll be useful. Uh, what about in social? What else can we get? Uh, is there any trading licenses? Let's just add that to the list just to use up some of the stuff here. Um, I let you do the smart concrete upgrade. Oh, Far Hat Control Tower. A Mr. Desolate Landscape, a solitary control tower stands tall. With no evidence of sign of damage, yet the structure appears abandoned for quite some time. However, no souls are in sight, nor is a staff rover. The emergency box is empty, leaving only the control computer data of significance. According to the records, a supply convoy was supposed to pass nearby, but it failed to reach its destination. Cool, so we're going to get bonus signs. Excellent. Now, this is something that might be a trigger something else so that said a con a convoy was supposed to pass nearby but it was never received ah look at this uh your rover has discovered data on a missing convoy of vehicles scan the area within your rover to locate it so in the area with your rover to locate it so this is where the scan comes in so let's do some scanning so we have triggered an event here so but if we locate so you'll see if i zoom out a bit but the rover has a scanner which can scan that big of an area if we click this it does a small thing so that's everything in its ray it can detect anything within the dotted range but the scanner will go around and it will find points of interest so most of these are below they're all within the error threshold that's fine however this is not so we take the rover and we move it to here speed up time go rover go 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 uh, unfortunately night time looks like it's coming so we might not get this done in time but we'll move it over to where the um the edge of the uh, thing was there's a there's a seam on the moon oh <gasps> moon's dry egg i knew it What's the moon? um okay, boom. and then we'll scan again do, 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 do. and let's see let's see so there's something more over here this direction so i'm going to right click and move to the edge of the circle again i think we're going to run out of power unfortunately before we get this done which is a bit of a shame So you basically just move to the edge of the circle every time in the direction that it's indicating you should go. And then when you arrive there, you scan again. And eventually, hopefully, you get a ping. So you then move to that ping. Let's just double check the ping. Yep, move. Go to the ping. Okay. Hopefully the battery will be okay. Once you're there, you scan again. Look at it kicking up all that dust there. Uh, oh, play, play. Scan again. It will find a thing, a destroyed convoy. We can then right click on the convoy and go investigate. And the rover will start investigating it. And goes around. I think, I don't think it's used backpack because it's not moving, which is awesome. The convoy was transporting several tanks of liquefied fuel in a couple containers with various spare parts and electronic equipment. It seems that the vehicles were seriously damaged and buried under collapsed rock. You can immediately send a cargo truck to collect the easily accessible cargo, or you can try to break up the rubble with a rover. It will be necessary to send drones to excavate most of the cargo, but the operation to retrieve it might be risky. Okay. So, um, we could collect the easy cargo, we could clear the rubble with the rover, um, or we can send drones to collect everything. Now, we can't send drones because we don't have the expedition though. So let's try and clear the rubble with the rover. A rover is capable of dealing with a small rubble pile. Assign it to explore the location so it can take care of business. Okay, gonna drive back there again. 
just gonna do the whole zoom, 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 zoom. Oop. takes a lot longer this time around so we'll, we'll let it do its thing uh, let's go back to base for a moment um what did research research did we research the next fundamental thing no the fuel factory is still waiting it takes six days we have cleared all the uh the rubble up here though and that's fine and what would this give us this will give us more components let's do that let's do the big buildings yeah let's do all the big buildings but we basically do want to clear all the rubble at some point uh, we only have 17 days left we need to place beds what do we need for the beds what are we missing we're missing aluminium ah no we're not getting any aluminium in uh, you have none you have none you have none you have none uh, you are titanium. That's all titanium. We don't have any aluminium. We're going to have to buy some aluminium. Let's buy some aluminium. Oop. Buy. Aluminium is currently expensive. Wow. It's like, yeah, let's, 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 uh, fast forward a day. Neons, our rovers eat the entire thing there. Nom nom. Okay. So, boom. It's next, it's the next day. So it's gone past midnight. Let's have a look at the market again. Uh, aluminium uh, unfortunately went up in price again it's awkward uh, we do have aluminium we can we can mine aluminium we have aluminium here don't we let's do that let's mine the 38% aluminium which is not great two three one two three like that yes I'm still using the single stuff there that's fine it doesn't it's, it's not that terrible don't worry don't worry, it's fine. It's a fine. Oop. Okay, away you go. Build those. Okay, we don't have the power to run everything anyway at the moment, so that's fine. Don't worry about that. We'll get some aluminium and do that. We've only got 16 days left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um. Uh, good news is, however, we do flash charge our batteries very, very quickly. So. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be okay. Uh, let's wait for another day to go by. I'm pretty sure you'll update at midnight. So, uh, and I don't have to slow the time down. I, I keep doing that. I keep slowing time down and changing things. It's because the game used to continue overnight. Um, like when you go into this menu, it used to carry on. It doesn't. It pauses down, which is awesome. Uh, we're back to two twenty nine. So, mm. we'll invest in our own we're infrastructure. Send a cargo truck to collect the goods. I'm not going to. I'm not going to yet. So let's go up here. What did we get? We got uh, 150 fuel, titanium, components, and things like that. So we could send drones to do a more detailed job, but uh, let's investigate the transit station. You're going to run out of power anyway, so that'll be fine. I'm going to leave the rover here. I don't want to send the rover out because in 15 days it might not make it there and back. Um, and we need to go and grab the people. I don't know whether that's a quick priority or whatever so I, I would assume it's a quick quick requirement but um yeah you never know but what about these guys what are these it's titanium up here anyway aluminium sorry Steel. Steel. no no interesting interesting uh there's also no debris on the surface that i can see i think they've cleared it all up um in sandbox mode you will get random debris on the surface that you can you can salvage so I don't see any here, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, right, you don't have any power because we don't have any power. Um, what I can do is I can prioritize this, and that means it gets priority in the power system as well. So, um, I mean, you, you were going to do aluminium. Mean, so yeah so now you're getting that because you are prioritized to the power system so yeah okay so you're going to start mining that you're doing 20 a minute uh but you are only 38 percent aluminium uh, which means this is going to produce way less than than I'd like six yeah it's getting more slag than it is aluminium because obviously there's only 38 percent in there so yeah bit of a shame oh well What about um, the market change tools? Um, I, I do went up again. Um, 
I do wish that the uh, comma center wouldn't default to this screen. I wish it would stay on the screen it was on previously. Uh, <laughs> okay, another day goes by. Uh, you might know, just have to bite the bullet and buy some anyway. Uh, yeah, let's let's just buy some anyway. Let's let's buy ten. That's, that was a hundred. Don't buy a hundred. Buy ten. Buy twenty. It's five grand. Okay. That should be enough for all the bets. Yes, awesome. Director, colonists will come to the base to work, not to relax. Build a fundamental science lab so they can help generate fundamental science points. I really can't because I don't have the ability to do that. Mainly because of space. Um. Don't forget about the medical block. The healthier our employees are, the better they will be able to perform their duties. So a bed. Uh, I assume this is a bed that sleeps one. Uh, I don't know if colonists get assigned beds, so you might have multiple colonists to a single because you don't you don't need one bed per colonist because they don't have one room per colonist so uh, you can build that sort of thing I, I could absolutely build these things in a certain room and then build a special kitchen room and build a special bedroom for them and so on and so forth that might come i don't think it's in the game yet might be wrong there has been updates i'm unaware of you know, all, this is all new so we will, we will see um so uh, uh recreation nope life support science uh, you want to build a fundamental science lab. We can't do that because we haven't researched it yet. So that's fine. Uh, we also want to build a medical block, which we can do. I'm sure I did put in once and then probably cancelled. Uh, let's put that in. Oh, it won't fit down there. We can put it behind here. Put it there, up against the... Nope, I can't put it anywhere. Uh, we're going to put it... <laughs> um, so yeah, that requires micro computers. Do we have we have thirty four of those micro circuits left? Awesome. Oh, that's done. Large battery, yay! Prioritize. Prioritize the large battery, please. Um, yeah, we want to build that. We want to build the large battery so that we can up our power storage and do things. The large battery is fifty instead of ten discharge rate, so definitely want to have loads of those. Loads and loads and loads of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should have bought nine. And it's three to one. That's what we want to do. So then we do three large batteries, three large batteries, nine solar panels. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have just we're gonna have row of solar panels all here, and then batteries all here. And then maybe fuel cells here if we need them. So however, we're gonna do that all next episode. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I do hope to see you again in the next one. We're going to probably need to get some titanium plates as well. We'll get that going. Uh, I'm going to get the story bit done with the people first. Then we'll work on changing the factory to the large regolith place. So, uh, yeah. 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 <sighs> Until next time, as always, have fun. <laughs>